Hello friends. In today's episode, we'll investigate the effect of electricity on plant growth. Let's conduct a simple experiment on electroculture and see what happens to plant growth when they are electrocuted with a low DC voltage. Coming up. This experiment can be a very good school project for kids to develop their interest in gardening. Well, this experiment is based on two observations. One, plants appearing healthier after a thunderstorm, possibly due to the effect of lightning and electricity. Two, plants growing near an electric power cable generally look greener and healthier. Now, let's conduct this experiment starting with our hypothesis, that is Seeds germinate faster and plants grow faster and healthier when electrocuted with a low voltage DC current. I came across a lot of research articles online on electroculture studies. According to electroculture technique, plants are sensitive to electricity and magnetism. Improved plant growth and increased yields are some of the positive effects of electroculture. This technology can even be used to protect plants from pests and diseases. The mechanism of action? Well, I could not find convincing answers. Maybe the copper electrodes causing electrolysis or electrophoresis and releasing copper and salt ions within the soil or the electromagnetic field from the electric current causing movement of different ions into the roots. Now, let's jump into the experiments starting with the materials and methods. The materials required for this project are three plastic containers, identical plant seeds for all three containers, identical potting mix for all three containers, a DC 9 volt battery, a DC 3 volt battery, copper rods or copper wires as electrodes, then a ruler or a measuring tape. Let's begin. Step 1. Label the three containers. Pot A and B are for the experiment and pot C will be the control for the experiment with no current applied on it. Step 2. Identical factors or constants for the experiment. Fill all the three containers with the same potting mix or soil. Plant the same seeds into all the three containers. Keep all the three containers in exactly the same location to receive the same amount of light and water them exactly with the same amount and at the same time. Step 3. Prepare the circuit. For pot A, we'll electrocute with 3 volt battery and for pot B, we'll use the 9 volt battery. We'll use this copper wire to make our electrodes which will then be inserted into the soil. Step 4. Sowing the identical seeds into all the three containers at the same time. You can use any plant seed for the experiment. Sow exactly the same amount of seeds into each container and water them with exactly the same amount of water daily. Keep all the three pots at the same location like on a windowsill. Step 5. Applying electric current to pots A and B. Two copper rods are inserted into the soil at opposite sides of the pot and they should not touch each other. The 3 volt battery will be connected to pot A and 9 volt battery to pot B. The circuit is switched on in pot A and then also at the same time in pot B for about 15 minutes daily. And then the plant growth in all three containers will be measured on day 4 for seed germination, day 7 and then day 12, 15 and so on. Now let's look into the results. On day 4 as you can see both seeds are about to germinate in pot C which in fact received no voltage. In pot A one seed has germinated and in pot B there is no definitive signs of germination. You can see in pot B perhaps due to high voltage the earthworm is struggling to survive and this indicates high currents are harmful for beneficial soil organisms. On day 7 you can notice the height of the plants in pot A is still lesser when compared with the control pot C and pot B which received 9 volt is just starting to germinate. So till day 7 this theory on electroculture is getting disproved. I'm not sure what went wrong with the experiment. This needs further investigation. We'll later post an update on this on day 15. 
We can even try this experiment using different DC voltages like uh, 1.5, 6 volts or even 12 volts DC. And the experiment can also be done by changing the length of the exposure time to the DC current and then comparing plant growth. In our next episode, we will conduct a similar experiment to study the effect of magnetism on plant growth and seed germination. Please let me know in the comment section below if you have any more thoughts on this. Please hit a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Also comment below if you would like to watch more experiments on gardening. Share this with your friends. Consider subscribing if you are new to this channel. Happy gardening.